Yep. Hey everybody, welcome to Fantasy of Flight. My name's Kermit Weeks and uh, I actually own this place, so I appreciate y'all coming out. Not only do I get to fly all these cool airplanes, I get to share my passion and good fortune with you as well. And I hope everybody out there has a passion because if you do, you can look back upon your life, see a time when a little spark lit inside of you, kind of set you off on that path to where you ended up today. Well, for me, it was something as simple as a song I heard on the radio. You guys remember that song, Snoopy and the Red Baron? Well, it had a different effect on me than it did you guys, and this is a result of it. So never underestimate uh, little things turning into very big things. The airplane I'm going to fly today is an interesting little character and story. Uh, it was the military version of the famous Piper Cub. This is called an L-4, the L standing for liaison, which is what they used it for. And they would pick up mail behind the lines. They would take a general off to some airstrip. They would go get some supplies or something or use it as a, as a hack. And uh, it's all fabric-covered, welded steel fuselage. Uh, it's very similar to the Piper Cub that was the famous yellow airplane that was a training plane. Uh, except this one here had a little bit uh, more windows, uh, made it for an observation plane. And uh, normally the pilot, when, it fly, when he flies solo, uh, flies in the back for balance purposes. But when the second person goes, the pilot will fly in the front and behind the pilot, the capability of that rear seat is the person can actually turn around, face backwards, and has a little table there where they had a radio, they could do map drawing, they could, uh, you know, write things that they were spotting, do an observation. Um, they had a couple interesting things happen with these uh, airplanes. There was a pilot that was found himself flying Piper Cubs instead of uh, fighters, and I think he was a little frustrated uh, not being able to fly a fighter. He got a little ingenious one day. He strapped eight bazookas to the struts and he actually went out and of course there's no recoil in a bazooka because it's a rocket in a tube so it didn't rip the wing off when he fired it and I don't know if he had any success but I've seen pictures of the airplane also they did an experiment they hung a big triangular braced uh, structure over the top of the airplane with a big hook on it and they actually had some of these on merchant ships that they would, uh, the pilot would be on there, the plane would be on, they would sling two big booms out with a long cable in the airplane on it. 
the, the pilot would get in the airplane, he would warm it up, and he would actually accelerate with full throttle, and by the end of the deal, he would disconnect, he'd have enough flying speed, he could go on shore, land, get some lobsters for the admiral or whatever needed to happen, and then they would actually fly back, and the merchant ship would go into the wind, similar to an aircraft carrier, they would hook this harness up, the pilot would come in as slow as he could and try and hook the hook in the loop, and by the time he hooked it and got to the end of the cable, hopefully, you know, he wasn't doing giant swings at the end, and uh, he would take the lobsters to the Admiral and everybody would be happy. So, uh, um, today I'll go ahead and do a little demonstration. It's, uh, it's kind of a slow airplane, but it's got a great history, and, and uh, like everybody, uh, everybody has a job to do, and this was an important job. Let me go get flying, and when I get back, uh, happy to answer questions. Sometimes people want to get pictures in front of the airplane, and my guys uh, in the orange jackets here are happy to oblige. Thank you.
Where are you guys from? South Carolina. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Super. yeah, thanks for coming. Nice to, meet, nice to meet nice to meet you. Yeah, really great. enjoy your place, oh, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You guys been here before? Oh, yes. We have visited. Yeah. Yep. Really? Both his father and my father are in the Air Force and so we've been close to birds and flying and this kind of stuff for quite a while. And uh, we really find it exciting. Really enjoy your place here. Well thank you. You Super. know, we're trying to create something a little different too. You know, we're slowly morphing into what we uh, are dreaming to become, but uh, we're proud of uh, what we've created so far, but very, very excited about where we're headed. So it's great, really enjoyed it.